iHeart community is very happy to have back in our studio one of our favorite repeat offenders from Jefferson Radiology. She is the director of breast imaging. Please welcome Dr. Diana James. Hi, how are you? Hi, Renee. Thanks for having me. It's, do you like the new studio? I love it. Yeah, it's awesome. a little fancy though, right? It is. It's very de- intimidating. It's, I feel it's a little overwhelming. It's very. Mm-hmm. Go to mycommunityaccess.com. You can see pictures of our new studio. But uh, we're very happy to have uh, Dr. James back in our studio as we uh, are doing a Mamo series, if you will. And we're telling some stories uh, on air, both on commercials. And then, of course, on mycommunityaccess.com, you're going to be hearing from Chris Lynn, Susan, and Carrie. They're going to each tell their experiences uh, that they've had with Jefferson Radiology. I'll soon be telling mine as we... Won't get into the off. Cam- uh, I was going to say off camera, but off off mic <laughs> conversations. But in in any event, uh, Doctor James, tell me a little bit about what you do the the updates, the three D imaging, and everything that is available to to women and and all people for for breast imaging and breast uh, cancer awareness. Absolutely. So 2019 was a huge year for Jefferson Radiology in terms of women's imaging. So we completed uh, changing all of our offices over to 3D in July. So we're 100% 3D now, which is awesome. It's an amazing technology. It We've been finding many things that need to be found. Um, and just for anybody that doesn't know the difference between maybe 3D and 2D, the 3D is like a, it's a, an ability, it's, it enables us to actually look into dense breast tissue. So we're able to look through the layers of the dense breast tissue and find very tiny cancers. Um, so small that most of the time, or many of the time, uh, the patients don't need chemotherapy. And that's really our goal. Our goal is early detection and finding the earliest breast cancers to avoid a lot of the treatment that part that a lot of people don't like, like the chemotherapy and losing the hair and not feeling well. So we're doing our absolute best to maintain our edge and early detection. So let's talk a little bit about this 3D technology because I ran into a situation with one of our family members who was asked by the health care provider and place that they would go, you know, that, that she went, mm-hmm. um, you know, do you want 2D or 3D? It was a question. Mm-hmm. And I even remember saying, well, you want 3D. And then she said, well, I don't know if it's covered by my insurance. And I'm like, no, 3D. And I know this because of you you all. Mm -hmm. Really, this is the new standard, right? So what do you say to people that are listening going, geez, you know, does where I go have this? Or should I be asking these questions? Because, I mean, you you Mm -hmm. have locations across our state where people can, can get this and have it accessible to them. But, I mean, this is actually really important enough to say that it's life saving, life saving. Oh, it makes an incredible difference. So if you look at, there have been a number of very large studies on 3D versus 2D in this country, in Canada, in Europe, like throughout the world at this point. So we have this one big paper that included about 500,000 patients. So a very large number of patients. And they show that the cancer detection increase, like the, the you, you actually do better by about 40%. That's almost double what we used to do with 2D. It's a much better test. And the other thing that I really love about 3D is that we're able to call less people back. So previously with 2D, we'd have, you know, a dense breast tissue, maybe a little asymmetry, you know, something that we weren't sure about, like a little island. In 3D, I can actually go through that island in real time and try to figure out, are you a real island? Are you just normal tissue? Or is there something sneaky that's hiding in there? So it's really changed uh, my ability to read these cases and just be more confident about what's normal and what's abnormal. So we call back maybe 15 to 30% less women with this new technology. It seems very efficient. It's just more efficient. It's a better test. We find more cancers. There's it's actually the technology with what we've put in at Jefferson. uh, It's about the same amount of time and it's the same amount of radiation as a 2D mammogram. So the technology has really caught up to that wasn't necessarily true about 10 Mm -hmm. years ago, but now the 3D technology is so good. It's pretty quick. It's fast. It's the same amount of, of radiation and it's so much better for patients. It's amazing. So I would definitely recommend people, you know, like your family member, ask for the test. Um, this year it's finally official that it's covered by insurance thankfully, in the state of Connecticut, which is awesome. Uh, But it took a long time to get to that point. Um, This should be the new standard, though. I mean, if this is, this, it should just be the new standard. And thankfully, all of your locations have this Mm -hmm. available to them. And in one of our stories, you know, uh, I think it was Susan's story, she said her doctor actually referred her 
to Jefferson Radiology even before the three D technology was was in place. But you can get referrals to mm-hmm. to from from doctors. Maybe um, regardless of what healthcare system they use, they can actually refer them to you for these kinds of tests. Or we could still, so for a screening mammogram and now yeah. for like a 3D mammogram, patients can still self-refer. Oh, really? Absolutely. So if you're listening Absolutely. right now, and I know this is the time of year we start to think about everything pink and breast cancer awareness, and maybe it's your first time going, or maybe you haven't um, gone to the doctor in a while, you can actually just go to jeffersonradiology.com, or you can go to one of your locations to schedule an appointment. Mm-hmm. How much time do you need to, to schedule this? So the exam time is actually 15 minutes. Oh, see, I mean, you can't say that it takes too much of your day. No. It's probably more of an effort to make the call to make the, I was going to say reservation, but make, make the appointment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is probably more time to set it up in your schedule, but the actual exam, yeah. honestly, 15 minutes, everybody has 15 minutes. You know, and a lot of times people say, oh, you know, mammograms hurt, or they pinch, or they're uncomfortable. Is there any mm-hmm. differences with the 3D procedure than, than the, the one that maybe some women are used to? So, I, I mean, I wish I could say that it's a million times better. So, unfortunately, the technology the technology still relies on compression, like getting really okay. good, holding the breast tissue basically still right. with a little bit of pressure. Okay. So, that part hasn't changed. We, on our machines, we do have a new paddle, which may be appropriate for some patients. That's called a smart, gir- a smart curve paddle. And if your breast fits in that paddle, then that exam probably will be more comfortable because mm-hmm. the pressure is distributed a little bit more over the tissue. But it doesn't work for all patients, so I can't promise it for everybody. But I will say there's definitely uh, – the machines are more ergonomic for patients. We, we really tried to make it more comfortable for patients. And, again, it's only 15 minutes. It's, yeah. it's, you know, and the exam itself is actually a few seconds. I mean, the machine is very fast. It's, yeah. it's not a 10-minute we're waiting for the 3D images. It's very quick. So. Well, for the most advanced – Listen, for the most advanced technology in mammograms, you've heard it here. It's 3D, and you're going to find it at Jefferson Radiology. And Dr. Diana James is uh, the director of breast imaging for Jefferson Radiology, located throughout the state. You can be referred by your doctor. You can self-refer, your, as, as you were saying right there. Mm-hmm. Now's the time to do it because, like you said, it's peace of mind. And, and the fact that you can detect things so early, it sounds like, mm-hmm. you know, talk about peace of mind, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so so jeffersonradiology.com for more information about that. I do want to thank you for being here today, and I hope everybody will go to mycommunityaccess.com to hear our, mam- our MAMO series. Sounds great, Renee. Thanks again for having me. Thank you.